Hi guys, in this video I'm going to show you how to take an equation that's in standard form, um, first find the vertex of it and then determine where the graph is increasing and decreasing. So I'm giving doing the video with this form because this form is um, a little bit harder to find the vertex because in vertex form the vertex kind of pops out at you with that h and k. This one really, you have two options. Um, one, you could take this and put it into vertex form and see the vertex, but you can also use this little formula that's really done that work for you. Okay, so when I'm trying to find the vertex, when it's in this form, the x part of the vertex, I always write x sub v, and the reason I write sub v is because to show that I'm finding the x part of the vertex, not necessarily the x-intercept. So the x part of my vertex can be found by taking the opposite of b and dividing by 2a. And you'll notice that that's kind of part of the quadratic formula, it's that little piece um, in the front of it. So in this case, here is my, um, my b is here, my a is here. I don't need c for what I'm doing, um, but my c would be negative 1, which would be my y-intercept. So the x part of my vertex, so the opposite of b would, the opposite of b would be 4 over um, 2a, which would be 2 times 2, so we would get 4 over 4, so we get 1. So right now we know my vertex is 1 comma something, and we just have to figure out that other something. Okay, so really the idea is if I know half of an ordered pair and I have the equation, the other half of the ordered pair is always found just by plugging in. So we're going to find the y part of the vertex by plugging in the x part that we already know. So if I plug in so my f of x, or I'm just going to use y sub v actually in this case, is going to be if I plug in my 1 where the x part is, okay, so I plugged in a 1 for all my x's, so when I do this out, well, 1 squared is 1 times 2, so I get a 2 there, minus 4 plus 1, so I get a negative 1 out. When I plug in x equals 1, I get a negative 1 out. So that is the y part of my vertex. So my vertex is 1, negative 1. So I'm going to go to another slide and just kind of give a quick sketch of this just so you can see what's happening based on a is positive and, and I know where my vertex is. So let's take a look. Alright, so this is what we know so far. That was supposed to be a straight line. Sorry about that. Alright. So, I'm just going to do a little, a couple of little things on here. We don't need much for what we're doing. So, 1, negative 1. Here's my vertex. All I really need to know to answer this question, it didn't ask me for intercepts. If it did, that would be a lot more work. But all I really need to know is that this opens up. It doesn't have to be, this is just really kind of a sketch. And I know it opens up because my A in the front was a positive 2. It also would be a little bit more narrow than the kind of baseline quadratic. So I can look at this graph. I'm going to draw this imaginary line down here to show this is where it, it goes from increasing to decreasing. So you can see that the graph is increasing um, on the right hand of it, okay, after the vertex. So it's increasing everywhere from, and these are always x values, from x is 1 all the way up to infinity. And I'm putting the soft brackets on both. Because at 1, the graph is really kind of hitting a little horizontal. It's not increasing or decreasing. So that's why I didn't use the hard bracket. And it's decreasing before that. So all the way from negative infinity all the way up to 1. Again, not including 1 because right at 1 it's not doing either. So there's my two intervals where it's increasing and decreasing. And it's all based on my vertex. And it's based on the x part of the vertex because that's we're giving the x interval where it increases and decreases. We, we could have also been asked what is the max or min. And in this case, um, it, this one had a minimum because it was opening up. It had a minimum value of negative 1, that's the y value, happening at x equals 1. That's how you would write that. Okay, so this should help you again with a couple of the ones on homework. Have a good week.